welcome to Cooking with Taz. Hope you all are doing good. It's Friday today and I'm so excited and I'm looking forward to enjoying the weekend. Last night I was browsing through my website and I was thinking which recipe should I post next. I was a little confused and after some time I made a decision. In this video I'm going to share with you four easy and healthy breakfast dishes. We all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. By having a good and healthy breakfast will provide you with the energy needed for the rest of the day. So it's very important that you don't skip your breakfast but have a good and healthy breakfast. The first dish is going to be 2 minutes microwaved egg and mixed vegetables. As the name suggests there is no cooking it's just microwaving of the eggs and mixed vegetables. So let's see how. This recipe is for making for one person. Here I have separated the egg white from the yolk. I'm just using the egg white but if you want you can also use the yolk. Use a microwave safe bowl. To the egg white I'm going to add the mixed vegetables. I'm using carrots, beans, peas and corn. So these are all diced very small. So add to the egg white. Combine it well using a fork. To this add freshly ground pepper and a little bit of salt. Mix it up well. Now we are going to microwave this. This can be microwaved for about 1 minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes. So depending upon the kind of microwave you have, it, the time might vary. So after 1 minute 30 seconds, here is the egg and mixed vegetables. You can have this in this bowl itself, but if you want a better presentation, you can actually flip this into a plate. So cover the bowl with the plate and flip it over. So this is one of the easiest and the healthiest breakfast. Let's make the next easy and healthy breakfast. It's called parfait. Parfait is a French word which means perfect. So I'm going to show you how to make a healthy parfait. Here I'm using instant oats. It's regular oats. But if you want, you can use flavored ones like uh, apples and cinnamon, maple and brown sugar. So go ahead and use your favorite instant oats. So first we are going to microwave the oats with milk. I'm using half cup instant oats and uh, quarter cup milk. So pour the milk into the oats. Mix it up and microwave it to about one minute. So let's keep in the microwave. Here is the microwaved oats. So let's have all the other ingredients ready. I have strawberry flavored yogurt, mixed nuts, I have almonds, cashew nuts and pistachios, chopped strawberries, maple syrup. Next we are going to layer all these ingredients into a glass. You can use a glass like this or you can even use a wine glass. First I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of cooked oats. So this forms the bottom layer. Next I'm adding chopped strawberries. I have chopped some strawberries here. So this forms the second layer. Just place it on top of the oats. That's good. So the third layer is going to be strawberry flavored yogurt. If you want you can use plain yogurt. So about 3 to 4 tablespoons. I like the light pink color of the strawberry yogurt. Okay, that's perfect. You can add more strawberries on top of this. And drizzle with a little bit of maple syrup. Okay, and if you want you can add more oats. I'm going to garnish this with mixed nuts. So this forms the top layer. On top of the mixed nuts, let's place a strawberry. Is there anyone who can resist this delicious, colorful and healthy parfait? This is one of my favorite breakfast dishes. This can be even served as dessert and I'm sure kids are going to love this. Let's move on to the third recipe. It's carrot date smoothie. The recipe courtesy for this smoothie goes to my husband. Lately we've been experimenting a lot of different smoothies and this is one of my favorites. So let's see how it's made. For making the smoothie I'm using 15 baby carrots, 10 pitted dates, 
one and a half cups milk and three to four tablespoons of strawberry flavored yogurt. You can even use plain yogurt. Add all these ingredients into a blender. So three tablespoons of yogurt will be good. And one and a half cups milk. This is skim milk. If you want, you can use 2% uh, or 1%. Close it with the lid and let's blend it into a smoothie. So after making the smoothie, let's pour the smoothie into a smoothie cup. If you pour the smoothie into the smoothie cup, you can take this to work or even the kids can take this to school. Since we have added carrots to the smoothie, it is rich in vitamin A. Because of dates, it's rich in iron and fibers. Yogurt and milk will provide the needed proteins. Definitely, it's a healthy and delicious smoothie for breakfast. Yay! We have reached the fourth recipe. So the fourth recipe is going to be egg and cheese crepes. This recipe is for making for one person. For making the crepes, I'm using 3 4th cup all-purpose flour. In a blender, we are going to blend the all-purpose flour with water and a little bit of salt into a smooth batter. If you are gluten intolerant, you can use gluten-free flour instead of all-purpose flour. So add the all-purpose flour and about a quarter cup water will be good and a little bit of salt. So let's blend it. I have made the batter, now pour this into a bowl and combine it well. If it is too thick, you can add some more water to thin it down. So next, let's whisk the eggs. I'm using two eggs. Crack the eggs into a bowl and whisk it till it gets smooth. To the beaten eggs, add quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper and a little bit of salt. Beat it well and keep it aside. So let's first make the crepes. For making the crepes, first heat a frying pan over medium heat. Let it turn hot. When the pan gets hot, grease the pan with a little bit of cooking spray. And pour one large spoonful of batter onto the frying pan. Spread the batter evenly onto the pan and let it cook for some time. When the crepe starts to cook, lower the heat. When the top layer of the crepes gets cooked, pour the beaten egg over it. Swirl the pan a little bit and let the beaten egg spread evenly on the crepe. Cover the pan with its lid and cook for some more time till the egg has cooked well. After the egg has cooked well and it's no more watery, garnish the top of the egg and crepes with cheddar cheese. About two handful of cheese will be good. Again cover it up and cook for a couple of minutes. When the cheese starts to melt, Using a flat spatula, fold the crates, fold it into a semicircle like this, and flip it over. Let it cook for some more time till it becomes golden brown in color. It has started becoming golden in color. You can flip it over and cook both sides. The egg and cheese crepes is ready now. We can transfer this into a plate. So this, you can even make it the night before and serve it for breakfast the next day. Here are the four easy and healthy breakfast dishes. So do let me know your feedback. Also, let me know what do you make for breakfast or what's your favorite breakfast dish. Hope you all enjoyed watching my video. I'll be back with more videos. Till then, happy cooking and bye!